my channel if you're new and if you're not new welcome back sis so we are starting this vlog off at the end of april but i'm planning for this to be my how i start the month vlog honestly i'm kind of winging the vlog like i don't know but at the same time i'm not like i have things that i know that i want to do but i also kind of don't i know for sure that i'm gonna be taking my hair down i can't lie guys i am kind of um in a little funk and i don't want to fake the funk but i think it's important to like continue to vlog and continue to be productive this month so i do plan on doing some shopping i want to do a collective haul i want to do a um monthly update but since this is going to be like the very beginning of the month how about my bad guys how about you guys tell me what y'all want to see um from my channel and then we can go from there every second every minute then i swear that she can get it i'm talking about dark Recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never got taste this A little bit, mm, high maintenance, mm, everybody else basic You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic justice If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when You're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen Better yet with your friends Okay, y'all, so I am about to go get some materials for my kids they're doing a science activity today and it's so nice out so i'm excited i can't wait to see them do okay, it okay guys let me show y'all what i got so they're gonna be doing like these um in ground volcanoes so i got these champagne glasses because they have this little thing to where um my vision is for them to like poke the hole in the ground and then like do the volcano um i also got some baking soda and some food color and some vinegar so hopefully this turns out right you called up your girlfriends and your girl in that little bitty range i heard that she wanna go and party she wanna go and party and they say conversation rule a nation i can tell but i could never write my wrongs unless i write it down for real But like 75% of the things that can go wrong when installing a wig is going wrong. I started to say like, okay, I'm just not going to put this part in the vlog. And then once my hair gets taken care of, then I vlog. I just want you to see <laughs> what's happening. So basically, I didn't blow dry my hair. I just did some flat twists. And I went to put my cap on. And the cap basically like i put the got to be glue spray on it and stuff like that did the makeup blah 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 when it's time to cut the cap y'all the cap just like rolled back and it's basically not even on my head for real. that was pretty frustrating i'm not gonna give y'all like a laundry list of everything that's happening right now just know it's a little steve so after I did my edges, I think we had figured something out, but I'm not sure. I don't know what it looks like under here and under this um, lace headband. So hopefully it looks good. If it doesn't, then oh well, we're just going to have to figure something out for the week and make it work. I do have to film this other video really quick i'm gonna do a like get ready with me for church so um 
Yeah. Okay, so my hair didn't come out horrible, but I need to talk to y'all real quick. So I told y'all that I was trying to get um this video done. I was filming a chit chat get ready with me, a little like Sunday edition for church. So I'm filming the video and I'm rushing because I'm low key tired. I'm ready to get to bed. I had a busy day today. And as I'm doing the makeup, I'm like, okay, like just hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Long story short, makeup ended up not being cute. The outfit, like it was cute. It's a cute outfit, but because the makeup wasn't cute, the whole look didn't get put together um, very well. Like I said, my hair turned out decent, so I don't really have like complaints about my hair. However, the video in itself, not even it and it's because i was trying to force it like i was really trying to force it i was determined to get that video done by tonight so that tomorrow i can record other things and it just wasn't happening and it's because i was trying to force it i need y'all to know that you do not need to force anything in life like you do not need to force it you don't need to force your way into people's lives you don't need to force relationships you don't need to force a job you don't need to force friendships you do not need to force anything and i feel like trying to force things is really like doing things in your own strength and not allowing god to be god and it's kind of just like placing your will over his it's how i feel like if you're forcing things and just trying to force things and it's like no no like that's not it so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys if you're trying to force anything um stop stop just just stop just take your hands off the wheel and let god do his thing because forcing things is not going to get you anywhere but leave you frustrated and disappointed and hurt and angry and confused and uneasy that's all i have to say tomorrow is the 30th so i'm pretty sure we're going to be doing some content planning and <laughs> we're also going to um get ready for the month of may map my schedule out and stuff like that so i'll be showing you guys what that is like um and yeah this vlog is kind of it's gonna come to an end pretty soon and i'm trying to balance it out to where i'm not talking y'all to death but i like to talk and I like to talk a lot. So, that's what you're going to get on my channel. Me yapping and talking. God created me to talk. <laughs> like, that's my purpose. To talk. To share. To communicate. So, yeah. Um, but it's 10 o'clock. It's way past my bedtime. I'm going to be good night.
all the grocery shopping. <laughs> and I said, I'm like, okay, like, I'm going to go ahead and just make me a little salad and some fruit and eat that. Why did I find myself at this Caribbean restaurant who has vegan options? So I got some vegan cocoa bread, some vegan jerk quesadillas, and some vegan um, jerk, well, it's just like jerk mushrooms with rice and veggies. I am so hungry, y'all. Oh. And of course I got plantain. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm trying to like dress it up <laughs> so it look like something. So this is the jerk mushrooms with the rice and veggies, the quesadillas, my cocoa bread that I had to, y'all. I was so hungry, I had to take a piece off. And then the plantain, um, extra jerk sauce. And I got this hibiscus juice, it's hibiscus ginger and lemon it's very spicy and tangy but it's good y'all i'm so hungry like i'm starving mm. <laughs> the jerk quesadillas are good the cocoa bread is amazing y'all I'm so glad they had vegan options for bread. They had like vegan cornbread, vegan dumplings, vegan cocoa bread, like, mm. Amazing. I can't even speak. I'm so hungry. So, I got this from um, Erie Kitchen and it's really good. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And I just love that they have so many vegan, like they had a lot of vegan options. Like a lot, but. Oh, the jerk mushrooms are spicy. Honestly, I'm about to eat this food and take a nap. When I get up from my nap, I'm going to hang with my dad. I also have a um a graduation party to go to and I have a meeting tonight. <laughs> I know for sure I'm going to bed early because I'm tired. Y'all, it's Sunday night and I'm drinking some bee juice. I learned that it helps with like your blood flow it tastes like dirt but it's good for you <laughs> i had to put it in a tumbler so that i can have motivation to drink it through a straw but i'm about to do some planning for the month and for this week i hope you guys enjoy this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe <laughs>